Welcome back to Tokyo and the Total Energies BWF World Badminton Championships for 2022. It's day four of competition, which means that it's third round action. And the last 16 of all five disciplines. Everybody playing today is playing for a place in the quarterfinal stage. That's what's happened here on court number one so far. And we have two matches to come, and both of them are men's singles. Our first of the men's singles is the number five seed, Li Si Sharp of Malaysia, up against the left-handed Chinese player, Zhao Chung Peng. Well, this is the bottom quarter of the draw that this match is going to take place. This is the bottom half of the draw and no matches complete so far in this bottom half. I can tell you that Pranoy, who put out the two-time former champion, Mamolta, is on court right now against his teammate, Lakshya Singh. The number five seed, Li Zizha, playing in his third World Championship is trying today to get through to his third consecutive quarter-final. Zhao Zhongpeng is only in his second World Championship, but like his opponent, he was a quarter-finalist in Welva. Zhao Zhongpeng losing out to Luxia Sen, who ended up with the bronze medal. Whereas Li Zizha at the last World Championships, when he was the number six seed, actually withdrew when trailing 111 in the deciding game due to a blister issue against Anna's Antonsen. So both of these players losing out so to the beaten semi-finalists at the last World Championships. Black, this, red. as you can see, is just a second meeting between these two. It was a quarter-final at the German yes. Open earlier this year when they met previously. Won by Lisi Jar, as you saw. 21-12, 21-18 in 40 minutes. Well, this Li Jia has had a good year so far. Two titles. He's the Asian champion, having won the title in Manila earlier this year, beating Jonathan Christie in the final. Also won the Thailand Open. Zhao Chungpeng, who is 26 years of age, from Jiangxi province. Nangcheng City, he was born in. 23 on the world ranking, that's his highest, and he is the highest active Chinese player because Chen Long may be ranked at number nine, but we haven't seen Chen Long since he lost the Olympic final a year ago. Well, in the first round, he had a walkover against Opaiori of Nigeria and then sensationally beat the number 12 seed, the silver medalist from the last World Championships, Kidambi Shrikant, 9 and 17 in 34 minutes. Lee Zizha is 24 years of age from Ala Star in Kedah. And he, like his opponent, is playing off his career high at the moment. It is his 14th consecutive week as world number five. Now, in the first round, he beat uh, Brice Loverdays from France, who's always a dangerous player. In fact, uh, Loverdays had beaten the number one seed, Lee Chong Wei, in the first round of the 2017 World Championships. In the second round, he beat uh, the uh, Portuguese player, Artilano. Exact same score in both of his matches now. What's the odds of that happening? That's fairly Ready rare, isn't it? So Jeetan Bud from Australia is our umpire for this one. 
and Huayana from Indonesia, the service judge. Well, both these players have had success earlier this year. Zhao Jungpeng reached the final of the Indonesia Super 1000 event. And the two titles I was telling you about for this man. But the concern for Malaysian fans was the fact that he had to withdraw with a hip injury from one of the events in Malaysia. And on my left, Li Zijia, Malaysia. Li Zijia to serve, level, play. So it is the number five seed, Li Zijia, who gets this in the singles third round match underway. Sijar is hitting Two with the drift love. at the moment. Faulted for hitting the net, Lee. That was such a short lift anyway, it was going to get severely punished. Sun Jun on the right there. Chinese coach, he was world champion in 1999. Oh, that's a quick follow up. Service over, one, three. Indra Wajaya. We see Charles coach, he's now an independent player. Nerves. That's a terrible misjudgment from Lucy Jacques. His attack is quite awesome. Over two, certainly one of the contenders for the best smash in the men's singles discipline. power there. Jiao Chung Peng. Just simply couldn't react in time. Oh, 
was waiting at the net. Read that. Well, a challenge here from Chelton Punk. Yeah, he just challenges his in. arm half in the air. Yeah, the umpire wasn't sure whether he was actually challenging. Jump, yeah, jump, to, yeah, the umpire just having a word and saying you have to be clear. Yeah, turn and look at the umpire with your arm raised. And there's no doubt whatsoever. Yeah, that was clearly in. Plum on challenge the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five, all, play. One left. Service over, six, five. Watched it closely. It was indeed wide of the singles court. from a tight spinning net shot. Well, he's challenging again challenges on the back line. And if he's wrong, then he's got no challenges left. He's only played 11 points. 12 when this one is decided. Got no challenges left. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Service over. Six all. Play. got this capability of smashing straight down the line as we saw on that last one but it, earlier in this match we've also seen the cross court smash so opponents just don't know which way it's coming Turn of serve. Such was the tumble, and it was so tight to the net that Chow Chung Pung couldn't even play a shot to it. seen the smash straight down the line. We've now seen Nine the four. angle slice. Thank you. Here it comes. Look at that. That's a beautiful shot. And we've also seen the power play across court from that deep forehand position. Block 
from Lee Sinja was simply too loose. Georgian Punk has the two point advantage at the mid game interval. Demonstrating Lucy Jar that he's got the capabilities of these very acute angles from either deep in the forehand corner or the backhand corner. Nervous on defensive plate, losing Jacques. the idea trying to get behind it 13, 11. and keep on the attack Lise Jarp but he simply wasn't quick enough he was slightly off balance oh my goodness well for the first time since Chuckin Punk led three love in this opening game. We've had a three point difference again. Point difference. Yeah, even the trickery with the round the back shot. Not saving the day.
Lucky net cord for Lucy Sharp. 13-14. Was a medalist at the World Junior Championships in Bilbao in 2016, the Malaysian. Let's go to Chico Wodoyo. He then lost in the final. Yeah, that little bit of drift, taking it wide, 14, and he's back four. level. Yes, Lucy Sharp. His first challenge of this third round match. Remember, Jordan Pung doesn't have any challenges left. No, oh, that's not even close to being out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Very strange challenge. Service over. 15 14. Play. what he can do. We've seen it several times already in this opening gate. And as I was talking about earlier, it's not just that cross courts match that's so effective. He's also got one down the line. He's also got a slice cross court, a fast drop. favorite shot. Putting a bit of slice on the shuttle. Yeah. In trouble. You can tell that that is his turn to play the backhand from deep in court. The left hander. The only real option was playing back to the net and Lucia Sijar was ready and waiting. to me. And now Chow Chung Pung just two points away from the opening game. Well, he was unseeded when he reached the quarterfinal last year, the left-hander. 
conceded a game this year, and now he has four game point opportunities. 20, game point 16. Against the number five seed. Smash once again from Lucy Jar. Two game, game points very well saved. But another two game points remain for this man. Oh. 19 Pung trying a Lee Zijar backhand. It's outrageous against the man himself. He's got a patent on that. Taken. 21 19, the opening First game, game won by on his fourth game point opportunity. 21 19 in 21 minutes. Okay. So, a moment of truth for Lee Zijar. He'll have to work his way back from a game deficit if he's to reach his third consecutive quarter-final at the World Championships. Such good follow-up from the left-hander. And this, like this. Look at that. Beautiful 
full commitment going forward. and tumbling ferociously. Look at that! Oh, no wonder Lee Zizia couldn't control his lift. Oh, it really was ferocious spin. Missed it. Three, one. Well, Lee Zizia pulled out of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham to focus on concentrating for the World Championships after his hip injury, which had seen him withdraw from the Malaysian Masters. Service over. Two, three. And, you know, injury problems and lack of tournament play and... We always talk in sport about not only physical fitness levels, but also match fitness, fitness levels. And I'm not sure that he's match fit. Maybe physically he's recovered from his injury. Goodness me. Indecision there from Jiao Junpeng. Oh, that's just incredible. What a net rally. Well, I'm convinced Jiao Junpeng should have left that half-court lift, which he ended up playing the most extraordinary drop shot from. Good spot by the umpire. Six, three. And this is five straight points by the number five seed from Malaysia. He needs to keep the pressure on, which is to be a real change of momentum. Service over. Four, six. a loopy net, net shot. Yeah, good attack by Lee Zijar. 
Seven, four. of the match so far. Yeah. He had to work hard for that and he worked hard with broken strings. When did the strings break? I assume on that last smash. Seven of the last eight points to Lizzie Jean. Good oh, it's gone long. I was about to say that's good defence. Oh, it has Five, indeed just gone eight. long. court smash to win the rally one straight down the line and then the cross beautifully played Perfect block. Got the neck cords, Lizzie Jacques. Oh, that's a careless return. To 
the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Lee Cijar. But his opponents, having taken the first, it's still an upward battle for the Malaysian. Seconds, court one, twenty seconds. Let's back on court. Seven, the advantage in this second game to Lindsay Sharp. And again down in the third round encounter. Did it down the line. attack is so lethal, so potent. Yeah, we're seeing very, very few long rallies because the attacking play is winning through before we get into any marathon rallies. Like that. Beautiful. I like the idea he wanted to play the attacking punch clear. Execution let him down. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that sensational? Finds the line. Eight point advantage now. And surely we won't let this lead slip. 
And we'll all be treated to a third and deciding game. Missed it. Service over. 10-17. Landed on the back line. Service over. 18. And I'm not sure that Judge and Pung will want to fight any more in this second game. Probably more interested in conserving his energy for the decider. Yeah. Half hearted smash there from the left hander. Two points away from the second game now. Lucy Jacques. those smashes. Game point, 11. Oh, it's just phenomenal. Thank you. Nine game point opportunities for Lise Jart to level this third round encounter at one game apiece. Game. One game all. 21-11, the second game in favour of Lise Jart. 21-11, one game all. One game all confirms the umpire. And what a fascinating prospect of the third game we have. Park calls for the start of the third and a siding game. Zhou Zhengpeng, a left-hander from China, having taken the opening game 21-19, Li Zijia bounced back 21-11. So here we are in the decider for a place in the World Championship quarter-final. Well judged. 
looked at the shuttle, looked down at the line, looked up at the shuttle, having got his spatial awareness and knew it was going to drop long. I still find Three, it incredible one. how he can hit these smash winners at will. Fun. My over. goodness me, you won't see better than that. Two, three. Look at that. That's amazing. He didn't take it that high either. The touch and the racket head control, simply sensational. Hate it there, okay. Four, two. very slightly that the jump there wasn't timed quite right and therefore he was slightly on his way down again past the height of his jump and that's why he dragged the shuttle into the net Lucy Jar beginning to get the upper hand on the front court plate, the net plate. Oh, that's brilliant. Lovely, lovely smash. Service over. Six. Yeah, 
against the good net play again. Oh, good defence. Another good net shot. Well. The final Seven kill. Over. Played to perfection. Seven, six. But the hard work had been done. Oh, the tight spinning net shots. And I think he's just beginning to get the better of the left-hander on the net play. There's the famed backhand smash with full pirouette. Oh. Jiaojun Pong didn't even move for that. Well, I noticed a few rallies ago that the timing of his jump was off and said that could be fatigue. There's the backhand smash with full pirouette. And here, I know it was a disguised shot with the slice, but Zhao Pong, no power in the legs to push off. Punk really doesn't know what to do when he gets pushed deep into the backhand corner and he's forced to play that backhand. He hasn't won one rally that I can recall when he's had to play from that position. Yeah, that's a beauty for that time. He had the answer. Service over, seven, nine. in it. So far this year, Li Zizha, and six of them he's reached at least the quarter final. Oh, that's a good block, and he changes ends with a three point advantage. Li Zizha of Malaysia has been very consistently good this year. Chinese player in the men's singles tournament. And China over the years that they've played the World Championships have won a total of 33 medals in the men's double, in the men's singles, including 14 golds. And unless Zhao Jungpeng can somehow turn this match around, they won't win a medal again this year. Service over. 9-11. In fact, the last time that China won a medal in the men's singles was in Nanjing in 2018. Silver with Shi Yu Qi and a bronze with Chen Long. Thank you. 
There's a challenge here from Joe to the punk. Here we go. Yeah, it's a good call by challenge the line judge. Successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. That's 12. a very good call by the line judge. Play. Yep, it's inside the line, clearly inside the line. 10. Yeah, it's a good smash from the round the head position from Chao Jung Pang. Well, he had been on the defensive until then from the entirety of the rally. as far well from over yet, you know. Well, there was a big opportunity there for Lee. Challenge here. Challenges called in. Oh, I think there's a better chance of that being out than the one that Chowton Pung challenged earlier in this deciding game. No, it just caught the line. Another good call by the line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. So one challenge remaining. We're just two minutes shy of the hour mark. And it's one game all. Play. And Fourteen all. Oh, that's clearly him. What on earth was he thinking? Yeah, Pung. Serious misjudgment on that one. Well, oh, the nerves, the tension. Getting to those players. Nerves are jammed.
big point. going wide that's definitely gone long Sixteen fifteen. so for the first time in this deciding game Chao Chong Peng is in the lead Another one goes long with the back line. 17-15. Well, when you think he was 8-11 down at the change of ends in this deciding game. 10-14 down. So seven of the last eight points. Yeah. Big goal for there from coach Ingo Jaya. Thank you. A lucky net court and the momentum has shifted and it's now in favor of Chao Chung Pung extraordinary eight of the last nine points and three points away from victory 16, Pung, he knows how 19, fortunate he 16. was there. What on earth happened? Simply too steep with his kill, and he found the net. Well, he really is now or never, as far as Lisi Char is concerned. Good aggression. One point in it. 18-19. Point opportunities for the left-handed Zhao Chongpeng. Two match point opportunities, to be precise. to play that one match point brilliantly saved and Jiao Jinpeng of China has beaten the number five seed, Lee Sijar of Malaysia. 
21-19 in the deciding game, having been 10-14 adrift. An hour and five minutes. And Zhao Jungpeng, well, no wonder he's delighted. Disappointment for Li Zhao and for Malaysian fans. Uh, what a match it was. Twists and turns in momentum. And look at the delight for the left-hander from China. What a super match. 21-19, 11-21, 21-19 in the deciding game in an hour and five minutes. Well, what a one mini singles. That really was a thriller. So next up, our last match of the day is another men's singles. And it is uh, Kunabut Widesan, the number 16 seed from Thailand, up against Kenta Nishimoto.